All right, we got uh, a video sent to us by a listener. We're going to have him on in a moment. Uh, obviously, radio, we can play the audio for you. We played it an hour ago. It's, it's classic stuff, although the man involved is not happy with what he's seeing in San Clemente. His name is Tony Robolino. Here is the audio of that video. So this is a total sign of the times here. Homeless dude about, he's going to, he's urinating right now, uh, right there. What is this? San Clemente? Jeez. I can't, you know, sign of the times. And it sucks. You got these dudes rolling around like just drunk off their rear end or whatever. On historic monuments. <laughs> Dude, what? What? What are you doing? That is freaking ridiculous, bro. So he's going to stand there and off now. And this is what we got to deal with here in San Clemente? I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm so pissed right now, I'm shaking. This is freaking ridiculous. It's not even noon. And then you got this guy. All you people, what are you going to do about this? Why aren't the, where are the damn police? when you actually want them to arrest somebody for whipping his out in the middle of the day. <laughs> and by the way, when he says, all you people, what are you going to do about this? He turns the you know camera phone, I guess it is, onto political signs that were like everywhere on some of these blocks of San Clemente, people running for all sorts of different yeah, I wish offices. And he's asking a good question. What are you doing about this? But uh, he really was pleasuring himself uh, live on camera there. Yeah, we both took a look at it. We yeah. cannot, we do not, no, we're not posting the video again. Well, we have to pixelate it. Let's get Tony Rubolino on, outraged uh, citizen of San Clemente. Tony, how are you? Hey, great, guys. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. I, and I realize how angry you are, and I would be too, but that was a hysterically funny video. Yeah, you know, it's the it's the latest in a cluster that San Clemente has become. Our town is just deteriorating. And this guy, uh, you know, this is one one incident of a transient urinating on the side of a historic building. That's at North Beach, which is the greeting to San Clemente as you head south from Dana Point on PCH. And entire North Beach is overtaken by these transients dumped on us from the river, riverbed. Thanks, Spitzer. And, uh, I mean, you've got transients drunk and drinking in public and doing drugs all over the parking lot. The, the lawn of this multi-million dollar renovated uh, historic building, they're on the beach. We had citizens go this past Saturday and do a sit-in at North Beach. And what were we met with? Met with uh, transients BAing them, urinating in public, trying to start fights. Uh, the police had to be called. They arrested a few. And this is San Clemente. And we can point fingers at Prop 57 and 47, but, you know, at a local level, our city council has failed us. And they need to be held accountable. There are things that can be done at a local level. Now, is this a recent import of vagrants? We've had an issue for the past few years, and we've been pleading with city council, please get us more resources. We have, we're contracted with Orange County Sheriff's Department, and at any given time on a shift, you've probably got five cops patrolling the entire city that's split by the five. We're a beach town. It's just not enough. And uh, since this riverbed incident, we had them dumped into our motels. And the motels took them in, gave them those 30-day vouchers. And then what oh, happened after I the see. vouchers were up? They oh, were dumped oh, into the I city. Didn't, I didn't realize they got relocated all the way to yeah. San Clemente. Yeah. With the, I thought, I thought yeah. maybe the, 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 the vagrant bus collected them from the riverbed or from the motels nearby right uh, nearby the so, river but right. they they and put them in the hotels in your town yeah so laguna niguel and irvine have been getting a lot of publicity from this but we've been affected as well we're kind of the end of the line in orange county and they just got dumped onto our doorstep yeah and you're now the, we're stuck with them who's, who's, the, who's the supervisor for your city We've got uh, Eric Sun, who's the uh, assistant city manager. We've got our city council, Tim Brown, Lori Donchok, uh, Kathy Ward, uh, Steve Swartz, Chris Ham, And we have gone to meetings religiously for the past few years. Multiple citizens of a uh, crime forum uh, have been pleading and doing speeches. We'd rather be hanging out with our families, guys. And, 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 and what? They, and this, this crowd that you just named, they do nothing? Nothing. They just sit there, they shrug, they nod their heads, and they move on to the next yeah. speaker. Until somebody gets stabbed. 
Yes, exactly. That seems to be the reaction of every city council in Southern California. I mean, that's that's what the idiots of Ventura did until that poor guy got stabbed in front of his daughter. Exactly. So now you've got citizens in San Clemente in fear of their lives, families that can't even use the beach because they can't leave their children unsupervised, and it's being run amok by the trans- transients. Who's the, who's the a- county supervisor? Yeah, is it Lisa Bartlett? Yes, Lisa Bartlett, Todd Spitzer, uh, and and they are mostly to blame for this dumping of the transients in San Clemente. Now, I mean, coincidentally or otherwise, and I don't know if you know this woman that emailed us, Tony, she says the same thing you did. She claims there might be 70 to 100 of the riverbed population who have been relocated to San Clemente. And she says they're unscreened criminals, drug addicts, sex offenders. Yeah, guys, at least. I mean, we're talking hundreds. San Clemente is known for having lots of open areas that are uh, un, un, uh, built. Um, we've got a, f- a forum member who flies his drone over canyons locating uh, encampments that are hidden in this brush uh, because we've had, we actually had a fire uh, out in the Marblehead community a few weeks ago right. started by an encampment. I, I, uh, the fires are so scary. Oh. And we're going to be heading into fire season soon. Exactly, exactly. So uh, uh, what is this safety task force meeting that you reference? What is that about? I'm glad you asked. So this was started by a San Clemente citizen, uh, Ava O'Keefe, uh, a couple of years ago. She and her son were out at a store in the city and accosted by a violent transient. And uh, rather than, you know, cower, uh, Ava is a charger. She went ahead and created this online forum uh, through Facebook, and now we're 4,000 members strong. And what it's done is it's been a, an opportunity for us to rally together, get all the citizens on the same page, share pictures. We have another stay-at-home mom who goes around and collects intel, takes pictures behind fam, uh, these uh, transients that are just everywhere doing drugs. They drive around on their bikes with their carts. They're stealing. I mean, San Clemente is a total disaster right now. And, and you've lived there a while? I've lived there since 2010, and it was not like this when I first moved here. And you're going to say the last six months, a year, really gone downhill or even longer? Uh, without a doubt. And it's, it's been a steady decline for over the past couple of years. But in the past six months, it has ramped up tremendously. All right, Tony, thanks for coming on, and uh, we'll spread the word and uh, keep us up to date. Uh, especially, the, And I love the way you showed all the pol- political sides and said, what are you people doing? Nothing. <laughs> that was a great Thanks for having me on, guys. When you see We'd the video, have you out here and join us at a city council. You would be surprised at the apathetic response to our plea. Oh yeah, I, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, after the Ventura situation, uh, the, those those corpses on uh, the Ventura City Council have yet to respond. Yeah, I don't know if they're afraid of the ACLU watching the live feed. Who knows? No, no it's not about Tony. Thanks very much for uh, coming on. I'm afraid Thanks, getting triggered Appreciate here. It. Tony Ribolino, yeah. resident of San Clemente. And they're claiming, as a few residents that have uh, contacted us, that uh, you know, it looks like some of the Santa Ana Riverbed did end up there. And uh, Tony says it looks like they got some motel vouchers to hang out there after being... Because uh, we know that not everybody, you know, the whole Santa Ana Riverbed, they were sent to motels in the area around there. And then the whole thing kind of dissipated. It's like, well, where did they go? Well... You know, Some of them looks like they may have gotten more vouchers to go meant, elsewhere, like he, places like San Clemente. He mentioned Prop 47. And, and I, by the way, you can read I, uh, these emails are on the website and pictures from one of our listeners. The other listener I mentioned, a woman who sent us uh, pictures of the mentally unstable. Her name is Gada. Uh, she sent the pictures of the, of the scenes in San Clemente. Prop 47 passed November 2014. Yeah, it's four years. Because everybody we're talking to in the last uh, few weeks has said this happened especially over the last two or three years. It was after Prop 47 kicked in. And I didn't know this. The proposition was supposed to expire in November of 2017, but Jerry Brown approved a bill that extended it to November 2022. I did not know that either. I did not know that, that either. That was in the ballot How come that, that got no, uh, the, it no gave news coverage? It gave no the governor coverage? power to extend it? Huh. Uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was in the ballot, I can measure. It, it was a bill. I think it was a separate bill that the legislature put through. Man, and, and if so I had known, we would have tried to stop that. Prop, Prop, Prop 47 is, is the cause of a lot of this because everyone – yesterday we – was it yesterday we had the guy from the, uh, from the bike path up in the Valley area who said about three years ago everything went to hell. And, and now Tony here in San Clemente, about three years ago everything went to hell. Over and over again, 
That is the timeline that people give. And that's when Prop 47 kicked in three and a half years ago. All right. When we come back, the Washington Post weighs in on California's homeless problem. Yes, the Washington Post with a headline as gentrification escalates.